entry permit holders has its own part in the Act. So part seven deals with workplace entry by workplace health and safety entry permit holders. So under certain conditions, union officers may enter workplaces for health and safety purposes. Now that's provided that they're trained, that they hold an entry permit, and that permit has to have been issued by an authorising authority, and that's determined by each state or territory. Um, now the permit holder must also hold an entry permit under the Federal Fair Work Act of 2009, or the relevant legislation um, in the state or territory. So now we'll look at the conditions set out for unions under their right of entry. So a permit holder can enter the workplace for the purpose of inquiring into a suspected contravention of the Act. So the person conducting an, a business or an undertaking must be suspected to have, have, I guess, breached is a pretty strong word. They, they prefer the term contravened, um, a part of the Act. And that this contravention is affecting a worker. Now that worker has to be a member of that union or must be eligible to be a member of that union that is represented by that entry permit holder. So really what we're saying is if you want a union rep to enter the premises, the workers on that work site have to be members of that union and that union representative has to then have been trained and, and have all of those you know, requirements I've just mentioned. So the worker who the union represents, who's a member of that union, must also work at that particular workplace site. The entry permit holder must reasonably suspect before even entering the workplace that the contravention is occurring or has occurred. And that permit holder can inspect any work system, plant, substance, structure or anything relevant to what has been suspected to have been contravened. Now, they can consult with relevant workers in relation to that suspected contravention. They can consult with relevant people conducting the business or undertaking about the suspected contravention or their offices. They can require the relevant person conducting a business or undertaking to allow the workplace health and safety, the workplace health and safety entry permit holder to inspect, make copies of, any document that is directly relevant to that contravention or suspected contravention, any document that is kept at the workplace. Also, they can warn any person who they think might be exposed to a serious risk from an immediate or imminent exposure to a hazard. Now, they have to give notice of the entry and the suspected contravention in accordance with the regulations to the relevant PCBU or the officer in control of the workplace. Now when they're going to inspect or make copies of employee records, and those records would have to be directly relevant to this suspected contravention, they must give prior notice to the person from whom the documents are requested. And that notice must comply with the regulations and some of those types of um, standards are that it must be given during normal work hours at the workplace and at least 24 hours and no more than 14 days before the entry. So if there's a suspected contravention, you'd, you'd certainly hope that this can be dealt with in, in no more than 14 days, but they certainly have to give at least 24 hours notice. And that notice period, as we said, would have to occur during the normal working hours. So there's, there's reasonable notice given so uh, a worker can actually start compiling the records that, that have been requested. 
Now, there's the Commonwealth Privacy Act of 1988 that still has to be considered here. So, obviously, disclosure of personal information obtained uh, in this manner has to be um, treated, you know, under the, the Act. So, a permit holder may also enter a workplace to consult and advise on work health and safety matters with one or more relevant workers who wish to participate in the discussions. But again, that same notice period must be given. And the regulator can deal with any dispute that a PCBU may have about a permit holder having a right of entry. So, you know, the officer or, you know, the, the person conducting the business or undertaking would get straight on the phone with the regulator and say, listen, we've been issued this notice. Uh, we don't believe that there's any suspicious contraventions of the Act, um, we need you to come and intervene. And then the regulator can get in touch with the entry permit holder. They may also get in touch with some of the workers at the work site and then they will resolve that.